Now we look at into the last step of the translation process that is termination. There are no tRNA molecules are available normally to recognize the stop codon. Certain protein factors called as a release factors that includes RF1, RF2, RF3, they all can able to interact with these codons that is the stop codons and they can able to cause the release of the completed polypeptide chain. For instance, RF1 can able to recognize the stop codons UAA and UAG. RF2 can recognize UAA and UGA. RF3 helps either the RF1 or RF2 to carry out this reaction. The release factors make peptidyl transferase enzyme to transfer the polypeptide bond to water molecule rather to an usual amino acyl tRNA and thus the new protein is getting released there. To remove the uncharged tRNA from the P site and release the mRNA, the elongation factor G that is the translocase with ribosome release factors are needed for a complete disassociation of the subunits of ribosomes. Now, the initiation factor 3 can able to bind to the small subunit of the ribosome that is to the 30th subunit of the ribosome thereby preventing the formation of inactive 70th ribosomal unit. After joining of the initiation factor 3 to the small subunit of ribosome, the initiation process will be starting back again. Now, we look at the steps that are commonly happening for the managing a truncated mRNA there during the process of protein synthesis. Truncated mRNA refers to a broken mRNA. There are several mechanisms available that deals with the problems of mutant or truncated mRNAs there in the cell system. So, this truncated mRNA can able to cause translation and formation of a defective proteins. So, such kind of proteins need to be properly degraded there in the cell system to maintain the stability of the system. In case of a truncated mRNA occurrence in the prokaryotes, a special form of a RNA called as a tmRNA that is transfer messenger RNA. It meaning it has the properties of both tRNA as well as mRNA and this particular tmRNA is used to free the stalled ribosome and ensure the degradation of the defective protein. The ribosomes usually become stalled when there is no release factor is available to recognize. The tmRNA behaves primarily as a tRNA. Thus, it helps in delivering an alanine residue there to the A site in the ribosome, thus allowing peptide bond formation. Then the translation is taking place in such a way, first the tmRNA acts as a mRNA molecule. So, thus it allows the translation of a 10 codons in total followed by a termination codon that is a stop codon. The released protein thus has a tag of 10 amino acids at its carboxy terminus which is serving as a target for rapid degradation of that particular protein. Now, we try to understand what is the differences existing between a polysome and a polycystronic mRNA. This may be asked in a two more question. Polysome refers to translation carried out by several ribosomes on a single messenger RNA. So, this is called as a polysome that can be best demonstrated there in the right hand side diagram. Next, we look at the point related to polycystronic mRNA. It generally refers to a messenger RNA which encodes for two or more different proteins. Polycystronic messenger RNA participate in the process of protein synthesis that is in the translation of prokaryote. It is a characteristic features of the mRNA that belongs to bacteria as well as chloroplast. A polycystronic mRNA contains the following distinct regulatory and functional regions that includes a 5 dash leader sequence coding region that is made from the structural gene transcripts 
ஈச் பிகினிங் வித் ஏ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் இனிஷியேஷன் கோடான் ஃபாலோட் பை எ லீனியர் சீக்வன்ஸ் ஆஃப் கோடான்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்டர் சிஸ்ட்ரானிக் ரீஜன்ஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ காமன் in this kind of a polycystronic mrna they may or may not be separated by the non coding sequence region in the diagram shown below you can able to see three different kinds of proteins that have been formed from an mrna so first polypeptide is shown in the red color the second one is shown in the blue and third one is shown in the green color in each polypeptide you can able to see a initiation site followed at the end by a termination so this is the way in which a polycystronic mrna will be functioning there in the cell system 